a gentleman It's the kind of love that meets her demands You see, a woman's not a riddle She's not a mystery And she'll open up
Online commercials can increase your business overnight. 28 million people will shop online before you read this. You want to reach them? We can help. Online commercials. You advertise online, you reach more people. You make more sales. Hey, 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 man, what's going on? It is the Ace Michaels Show, and I'm your boy, Ace Michaels, and uh, we're talking today with music artists. Music makes you lose control. Anyway, so uh, that's what's up. My guest today is an artist who has released several albums already. He's not a newcomer. No, sir. He's a do-comer, Okay. Newcomer, newcomer, not to be used. But okay, okay, so you can't use that. All right, so he's a newcomer, but not a newcomer. He's more of a do-comer. So even if you haven't heard of him, that doesn't mean that other people aren't already his fans. Welcome to the show, <laughs> First Class Hello. Rossi. What's up? Buddy? How y'all doing, man? What's good? What's good? We're doing good. You uh, appear to be a man who does not have a shirt on. Yeah, I'm, I threw away all my shirts when I got these tats. So once I got my chest done, all the shirts went in the trash. Every one of them. I don't have no shirts. So is so you don't wear shirts, or is that Not just fair. today? You don't wear I mean, shirts. If I if I gotta go like in a restaurant or something, I throw something on. Right. As soon as I get in the car, I take that bit off, throw it in the back seat. Ah, <laughs> love no it. Shirt. Last last three months, no shirts. For the last three months, no shirt. But what if it's cold outside? Well, you know, I wear a jacket. You wear a jacket. <laughs> so okay. So so you do know if it's cold to put a jacket on, but not a shirt. Not a shirt. Right. <laughs> and I hope you wear pants. You don't have tattoos below your no, waist, I still, right? I still got all the bottoms. Okay. All, the shoes, all right. All the shirts. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So when you perform live on stage, you don't wear a shirt either, right? I mean, either I have on a shirt. I mean, no shirt, or I have on a jacket and it's open. Yeah. That's really my wardrobe. <laughs> yeah. It it would be strange. I mean, you know, if you didn't wear a shirt most of the time and then when you got on stage all of a sudden you wore a shirt. That right. would be a little right. strange to me. Right. But, right. but who hey, who am I? What do I know? I am not artist, man. This is artist you know, stuff. That's yeah, awesome. Man. That's awesome. It's, it's a crazy game, man. <laughs> it is, and it's getting crazier. So okay, so that's a very interesting story. Now, the tattoos themselves probably most have some pretty interesting stories. So you've done tattoos well, all... I'm a, I'm a 90s baby, so, you know, it's all 90s cartoons. Got all the cartoons we used to watch. Gerald from Hey Arnold, Raptor from Rugrats, wow. Frank Azar, Tommy, you know? Yeah, Skeeter, yeah. yeah. Bart, uh, Pink in a Brain, Rocket Power, I'm full. All 90s, though. I'm, I was born in 1990, so. So, everything. You know, I, as my nice. artist, I wanted, something, I wanted something different. Right. So, I was like, you know what? Let's do 90s cartoons. You know, he's been knocking them out. I know. Almost, we're going to keep just picking on your personal appearance for before we even cool. talk about anything substantial. We got to get through your personal That's appearance. Cool. That's so, cool. you so you have the dreadlocks, and you got the dreadlocks that look like they've been like growing since 1990. <laughs> 
man, I had these since 06. Holy smoke. Yeah, man, it's so long, bro. I sit on them, I get in my food, I try to put on my shoes and get in my tennis. It's crazy, <laughs> bro, but they're going to have to fall out before I cut them out. I know right. Too much. What, what's the significance of the dress? Do you have a story about why you have the dress? Yeah, we got cut off for a minute. That's okay. So what's the significance of the dreads? Do you have a story about why you started the dreads? Well, I just started them basically because I just like the look and, you know, it kind of went from there. And, uh, you know, we took the images. Uh, we called our Operation Mafia and Mafia. Everybody had dreads, like the whole, the whole little circle. And that's just kind of how it started. And, uh, you know, we just went with it from there. And you, you are uh, based out of uh, Louisiana? New Orleans? Yeah, New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. So that's very, very cool. Now we can talk about the music. Now, the music, you have released three albums already. Yes, sir. Right? Full albums. Full albums. You know how many people don't, can't even release a song? Man. I'm one of them. I, <laughs> I got, I don't want to lie. I got 13 albums that are recorded and ready to roll. Wow. I don't have to record again, and I have enough music for the rest of my career. But I just like to record. How do you work so prolifically to where you can put so much material out? Uh, well, you know, uh, you know, music is a very expensive game. So when I started, I was like, I gotta find a way that I can rap and still be in the studio and live at the same time. So right. I put up studio. Uh, I record half of the city. All the underground artists, I record and mix their music. So by me doing that, I'm always in the studio. So in okay. my free time, I make my own music. In between sessions, I do my stuff. And that's how I've been able to go so hard. I really live in the studio. Now, how do you, and this is just, maybe it was my personal uh, experience problem, but how do you get people to pay? Like artists are always, they, they don't have money. Is that the same? I mean, <laughs> in, in places I was, artists didn't have money. Believe it or not, man, I have guys, some of the guys, 18 years old, 17 years old. They pay $50 an hour to record the music. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I guess if you really want to do something, you're going to make it happen. It's but about commitment. Definitely. I, I, like, I don't, like, I don't, uh, it's a, today right now, I strictly make my money off of my music and my studio time. That's it. Right. And which like, is I'm great. Booked. I'm booked all the time. And which is like guys from... 16-year-old high school kids to 40-year-old grown men. Why do you think you're so successful at this? Are you just a sharp businessman? Uh, have you been blessed by God? Are you lucky? Like All what? Of the above, man. And, uh, you know, with me, I always said, don't worry about the money. You worry about the people. If the people happy, you don't always have money. Mm -hmm. and that's just kind of how I handle the situation. Like everybody, you could be Kevin Gates. You could be somebody that's just starting. I'm going to treat you the same. Mm -hmm. and that's why so many people like to deal with me. I treat everybody music the same, and I got one of the best sounds in the city. So people like it, you know, they like to work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and they listen to my music, so that make them want to work. You know, it's a little bit of everything. And I think if people see you doing, then they get inspired by you doing. If you're just talking Absolutely. about it and not actually putting stuff out, it's not really the same. People, are, yeah, Absolutely. yeah, dude, whatever, right? Absolutely. But you're actually doing your thing. What's the biggest challenge in putting these albums out? Because obviously, time, money, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, it's, it's just it's just difficult trying to get it to the people and let them know that that's the main part of it. I mean, you could put it on the shelf, but how you gonna get the people to the shelf? Right. That's how. We, that's what we. You know, that's the part. That's that's, that's the, the thing we got to figure out. If we had a million dollars, it wouldn't be a problem. Right. Right. So, how do you get the music to people? Are you doing a viral type of thing? You yeah, you we, go out and sell CDs? Uh, yeah, we've been shooting a lot of footage <laughs> just so we can keep keep the visuals out and you know we just posting up around the clock i got a team of guys who are uh, on instagram and got a good following so it's a team effort man you just waiting for that one love break and right now that's a very important thing for artists to do is know how to market themselves on yeah. social media because the idea you know i would even go as far you can tell me if you agree with this the idea that somebody's going to come along like a manager or agent that's going to take care of things for you, those days are over. Um, I got that out of my mind. Nobody come to save us. We got to save ourselves. Right, right. 
And do you feel like that's a better system? Like, do you you take nobody's gonna take care of you like you take care of yourself? I mean, is that a better right. way to do it? I mean, the problem with that is is just that some artists don't have money or connections. I mean, some of the best music would never get heard because the guys don't have the money to put it out. Or they don't look crazy. They don't have yellow, purple, and blue hair. Or they don't have a chest full of tattoos. Right. You feel me? They got yeah. some guys that look look like a square. But he might be the best musician around. Right. But he don't have the method or means to get it out. And I think, I honestly think that the best music, we we never hear. That's a good statement. So tell us about, in your opinion, what is your best song? In your opinion, and why? Why is that your best song, in your opinion, that you've ever written? Your best song? It's tough. I got the song called, uh, I got the song called Doctor that we actually have on the radio. I think that's a good song. Uh, the lyrics, the lyrics are deep. So I really love that song. And then I have another song that's going to be on my next album, which is called Luciano. Uh, it's called Dance with the Devil. That's probably my number one song in my opinion just because the lyrics is, is real heartfelt yeah and I, when it comes on like when I'm in the studio I just turn it on just to see how people react people come from everywhere to come in there and listen to it so like I think it's one of those type of songs that's why I haven't released it yet because I feel like I need I'm gonna get to a certain level first so that it could really be heard like I need to be heard do you think you'll ever get to a point where you you say Okay, that's it then. I've I've written everything I could possibly write. All my ideas are spent. I'm, I'm done. I did the best I could. I'm I'm through. I don't know. I don't see it coming no time so I think Kobe still somewhere right now shooting jumpers. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot my jumpers forever. <laughs> and you know I just what? Like shooting jumpers. You feel me? Yeah. And how do people reach you on the uh, www? If they want to stalk you, they want to become fans, they want to follow what you're doing. How do we yes, find you? Uh, everything is First Class Rossi. Uh, website, all my social media handles. First Class Rossi. I've been looking me up. I made it real simple so people can get straight to me. That First is. Class Rossi. That's it. First Class Rossi has been on the show today. Hey, man, if you want to follow this gentleman and get in touch with the music, I think you should. Seems like he's doing a positive thing, which is a far cry from some other people out there. You always want to be with the positive crew. And uh, that's what's up. If you ever want to be on the show yourself, all you got to do is shoot us an email or give us a call. The information's on the screen. And that way you can voice your opinions, suggestions, convictions, beliefs, ideas, dreams, prophecy. And uh, I always like to say, if you got it on your chest, come be a guest. And that's what's up. It's been the Ace Michael Show. My guest today, First Class Rossi. And you know what I say at the end of every show? Live the life you love. Love the life you live. Thank you. <laughs>